question. 121. Your managed instance group raised an alert stating that new instance creation has failed to create new instances. You need to maintain the number of running instances specified by the template to be able to process expected application traffic. What should you do? A. Create an instance template that contains valid syntax which will be used by the instance group. Delete any persistent disks with the same name as instance names. B. Create an instance template that contains valid syntax that will be used by the instance group. Verify that the instance name and persistent disk name values are not the same in the template. C. A. Verify that the instance template being used by the instance group contains valid syntax. Delete any persistent disks with the same name as instance names. Set the disks.autodelete property to true in the instance template. D. Delete the current instance template and replace it with a new instance template. Verify that the instance name and persistent disk name values are not the same in the template. Set the disks.autodelete property to true in the instance template. Now take 10 seconds to think about the answer. The correct answer is A. To address the issue of failed new instance creation in a managed instance group while maintaining the desired number of running instances, the following steps should be taken. 1. Create an instance template with valid syntax. It is important to ensure it that the instance template being used by the instance group contains valid syntax. Any syntactical errors in the template can cause failures during instance creation. By creating an instance template with valid syntax, you ensure that the instances can be created successfully. 2. Delete any persistent disks with the same name as instance names. The error suggests that there might be persistent disks with the same name as the instance names. This can cause conflicts and prevent new instances from being created. By deleting any persistent disks that have the same name as instance names, you resolve the conflict and allow new instances to be created without any issues. Option A addresses both of these steps correctly. It emphasizes the need to create an instance template with valid syntax, ensuring that there are no errors that might be causing the instance creation failures. Additionally, it suggests deleting any persistent disks with the same name as instance names, which resolves any conflicts and allows new instances to be created successfully. Option B only addresses the first step of creating an instance template with valid syntax. It does not mention the need to delete any conflicting persistent disks, which is an essential step to resolve the issue. Option C suggests verifying the instance template syntax and deleting persistent disks with the same name as instance names but does not mention creating a new instance template with valid syntax. It is crucial to ensure that the instance template itself has valid syntax to avoid any errors during instance creation. Option D suggests deleting the current instance template and replacing it with a new one, which is not necessary unless there is an issue with the template itself. It does mention verifying that the instance name and persistent disk name values are not the same, but it lacks the instruction to delete any persistent disks with the same name as instance names. In summary, Option A is the correct answer as it covers both necessary steps of creating an instance template with valid syntax and deleting conflicting persistent disks.